Guys, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me in this very important video. This is an IPO, guys, I want to review, which is offering, as I can see right now, right, the latest SEC filing that I'm looking at right now, um, Davis Commodities Limited is offering 1.08 million shares. 1.0, uh, let's say 1.1 million ordinary shares, right? And this is available for pre-order, guys, at $4 to $4.50 right now on Weeble if anybody wanted to pre-order. As we go through the video and I review and analyze and tell you some my opinion at the end of the video, then you can see why maybe it would be a pre-order or maybe not, right? So I'll explain some things. I think you should stick around. This is an IPO you want to uh, uh, find out about, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not saying that you should pre-order this, but uh, stick around. So um, yeah, DTCK is, is the ticker symbol and it is going to be publicly traded as of now as it shows on September 13, 2023. I say as of now because IPOs change dates very often. Many times they'll change a date. You know, they'll say uh, we're going public on that date and then they cancel it and they go, you know, they get pushed back. Sometimes we don't even know the reason why. Uh, most most of the times it's due to market conditions and they, the underwriter thinks it's not proper to go on that specific date, so they push it back. But for now it is September 13 and let's talk about Davis Commodities Limited. And uh, so this company, guys, trades in various commodities such as sugar, rice, oil, and fat products. It is a company that's based in Singapore. And uh, it, like I said, it was created to distribute commodities to various global markets uh, and regions, including Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. The company is headed by CEO Miss Lee Peng Lek, who has been with the company since 2003. The company trades sugar, rice, oil, warehouse uh, handling, um, and they also do storage and logistic services. So if we look at the revenue of the company, in 2021, they had $194 million. In 2022, $206 million. If we look at the gross profit loss, they went from 12.2 to $12.8 million. And the gross margin is very low at 6%, 6 right? So that's a very low gross margin. Kind of, kind of uh, typical for this sort of companies that trade commodities to have that kind of gross margin, but not always, and, and it's not a good to have such low gross margin. Operating profit loss went from 4.9 to 5.2 million. The net income loss went from 4.7 to 4.6 million. And the cash flow from operations went from 3.2 to $1.9 million. Now let's stop real quick right here before I continue any further and, and uh, talk about my Discord, which is called Boom Market Watch. If you wanna join my Discord, the link will be in the comment section below. Um, so far this year in my Discord, 251 picks that were made live, that were announced before they were bought at the price that they were going to be bought, were sold profitable, which I think is amazing. 44 are right now the only stocks that we have open holding positions. Some of them are already green, some will finish green this year. Pretty much most of them will be dealt with this year and only nine for loss. And I think these numbers are amazing. They're stunning, right? So if you want to join us, the link will be in the comment section below. My picks in my Discord, my personal picks, what I buy and sell, you have access to that in my Discord and my picks are made live. People will know when I buy something before I buy it at what price and so on. So like I said, link will be in the comment section below. I think it's pretty cool. Join the Discord. It's awesome. We have over 1,000 traders in the Discord. So let's go back to this company. All right, so this company has $2.5 million in cash. They have 11.9 million total liabilities and their free cash flow is negative $1.9 million. Obviously from the financial data I just showed you, basically this company is not profitable in any way, shape or form. They're burning money. They're just really bad financially. But if they're bad financially, why would this be considered a pre-order? Let me tell you at the end of the video, we're getting there real quick. Market cap 99 million, enterprise value 91, price to sell 0.48. Let's look at the float, guys. 13.7 is the float. Not bad. All right, guys. So the valuation score is a three and a half that you can see here. Almost a four out of five. Why would I do that? Because the Universe Securities is the underwriter, right? So at four bucks as a pre-order right now with Universe Securities, if it remains that way and they don't change underwriter, you know, on Monday or Tuesday, or whatever, um, I think that it will. I think it will do well and I think that it will pop in my opinion all right so I believe that this will pop in my in my opinion if it remains the way it is with the shares that they're offering and the, the underwriter that they have that's just my opinion how would I trade this though all right because people some you know please listen to this uh, if you're new so uh, you don't uh, come back and say well I lost my money first of all you never buy anything according to my videos zero second how I would trade it I would pre-order 
but I would sell in the first pop, right? As soon as this stock is up, I'm selling and I'm out right away on day one. I'm not holding it any longer, right? You don't hold this $4 cheap Asian stocks any longer. You know, these stocks have all, all proven that they will tank either the same day, two days later, max one week later, they tank. Right, so there's no reason for me to hold this. This is not a long-term hold, not even a medium, you know, term hold. Nothing. Just pre-order, sell on day one, first pop. That's my opinion. Doesn't mean that you should do that. Like I said, you you should never, ever, ever buy anything that you see in my videos. Just do your own homework, do your own due diligence, and if you think it's great, go ahead and buy it for yourself. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. If this is a pre-order for you or not, and have a great Sunday. Are you looking for a Discord platform that offers a first-class trading community? That's what you can expect when you join Bull Market Watch. Trading can be challenging for some people, but we're here to simplify the process for you. We have a very powerful track record. Our Discord deals with day trades, swing trades, and long-term trades. Hundreds of traders operate through our Discord where we come up with stocks to trade for profits on the NASDAQ and in YSE. With a low monthly subscription of $9.90, you will have full access to our Discord where you can interact with other traders and get all the latest news when it comes to trading as well. It's a community that is extremely supportive of one another and always willing to help each other out. Become a member of Bull Market Watch today and be on your way to a better financial situation.